Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your October monthly reads, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, fam? So I just want to give this out real quick. It's going to be the lineup. We're going to talk a little bit of astrology. I'm going to share some stuff with you. We'll do our pick a card, and we can jump into the read. And if you don't want to hang around for that, it's time stamped. Go ahead and jump into your read right now. So a little bit of my hiatus, guys. And you've heard me say this on several videos. I want to say thank you for giving me time and space with my family. Family. Over the summer, my mother transitioned, and uh, it's been very difficult for me, and it still is. And so it's taken me a while to get back into the groove of things, and things might not be as consistent as they used to be, because as we all know, grief is a process. There are some new things on the horizon coming through, so stay tuned and start watching those pick a cards also. So let's talk about astrology, all right? Now, again. I'm not an astrologist. I am not, but I love to talk about it. So <laughs> let's talk about how we start off this month. So in September, we had something called the Mars retrograde going that's still going on until November 13th. And this is causing a lot of things for us. Go ahead and go check out the pick a card video and see what kind of energy is coming your way with that. Now, the first of the month, we have a full moon nine degrees Aries. So Aries energy is all over the place this month. Okay. We have Mars retrograde in Aries and now we're having a full moon in Aries, nine degrees. So there are some things being illuminated, right? That need to end. Things are coming to an end. It's coming to like, our, we're going to start seeing things clearly. On the second, Venus enters into Virgo. Relationships are going to be that of like, okay, are you going to be able to do this, 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 and this? And it might be like, hey, let me get you some lunch. And that's how we're showing love is like how we can help each other out. We might even be more analytical about our relationships as we move forward. On the fourth, another important day, we have Pluto going direct, 22 degrees Capricorn. This is intense. Pluto is the planet of transformation. Looking back, what are the things that you have been learning that needed to change? Because as we go into October and especially November, those changes, either you're going to make them or the universe is going to make them for you. Now, on the 12th, Jupiter is sextile Neptune, and Jupiter will be 18 degrees Capricorn, and Neptune will be 18 degrees Pisces. Again, the number nine. Things are coming to an end. It's time to put your dreams into action. Utilizing the energy of Jupiter, even though it's not at home in Capricorn. However, Capricorn is like, look, you really want this dream to work? You really want your plan to work? What are you doing to get it done? And Neptune's like, let's just dream it up, baby. Let's have a good time. <laughs> now, on the 16th, it's new moon in Libra. 23 degrees. I'm going to say that 23 is very karmic for me because it comes down to the number five and it makes me think like we're, tr we're starting to be a little bit more fair and realistic about how we want to move forward in the world. On the 22nd, happy birthday, Scorpios. You know I love me some Scorpios, all right? It's your season. It's your time. The sun is shining on you, big baby. And on the 27th, Mars is, not Mars, Mercury retrograde in the sign of Libra. So communication is, y'all know all the Mercury retrograde stuff. Don't be afraid of it. This is a time for you to actually really look at how you're communicating and how to be more effective, how to be more, more fair about things and get the communication really flowing. 27th, Venus is in Libra. What, Libra? You're going to love that energy. And on the 31st, if you celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween, happy Dia de los Muertos, however you want to look at this. But this is a time when the veil becomes very thin. And we will also have another full moon in the sign of Taurus. So this is a month of big changes, big releases, big energy shifts. Okay, so pay attention to those things as you move forward. It's a great time to start journaling. It's a great time to look at behaviors that you may want to be changing, okay? Because once Mars goes direct, you're going to put those things into action and you need an action plan. If you need help with an action plan, hit me up. Now, with that being said, you know, I love doing pick a card. So I wanted to talk about, I got a new deck. It's called the Book of Doors. It's an amazing deck. Um, a lot to learn, a lot of charts, a lot of graphs, a lot of gods and goddesses to learn. Um, I should do a video on this, but it's, it's super, super amazing. We're going to do a pick a card from this and let's see what we get. So deep breath in. Which will it be? One or two? 
So if you chose card number one, you have that of Satet. She is part of the Ta family. She comes down to the number seven. Very beautiful energy. She is the goddess of fertility. But this is to shoot out and to eject. It's time to clear the room with your energy. It's time to clear. It's time to get things ready so that you can birth your dreams, your ideas, your relationships, all those wonderful good things that are coming your way. So you are very fertile this month. Take advantage of that. Now, if you chose card number two, you have that of Hey who comes down to the number three for me this is new and exciting things and he's all about the now hey who's really interesting energy because with this energy this is infinite possibilities this is eternity this is infinity he's like the king of wands coming into your life to put things into action all right and with his energy this is telling you now is the time for success now you need to start putting things into action start small so that when the bigger picture comes together you're not overwhelmed by everything that's coming forth so with that being said, I'm super excited to be back with you guys. If you want to book a session with me, it's in the information. Hit me up either at arianaluciano at gmail.com or at Ariana Luciano on Instagram, okay? If I could say my own damn name. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Be blessed. Hello, Gemini. It's Ari. Are you ready for your re big baby? I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight. It's like 2 a.m., but y'all are my last reading for tonight. And I'm going to take a break and I'll finish the rest tomorrow. Now, with that being said, we're going to go into your read. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your space with me. If you like this channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you will get all the updates as I post them. Now, we are going to talk you talk you through. I'm going to talk you through this read. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm going to tell you about our setup. So we're going to go to our power animal, mind, body, and soul. Get into the tarot. Then we got some extra messages at the end. Look at relationship and a little bit of health. Now, you have dolphin energy coming through for you. This is all about teamwork, peace, and harmony. Um, this is about wanting more abundance in your life, having more fun, having a playful spirit. This is also about the way that you communicate. Yes, I'm using my notes because it's a lot of information. However, whenever the dolphins get together, they really can make things happen. They're very protective energy, also very intelligent energy. Who are you choosing to align yourself with Um I'll say ancient Gemini. Gemini, who I need to go to bed. Ancient Greeks. I'm reading ancient Greeks and I said ancient Gemini. Um, so this is about spiritual and personal rebirth. You're going through a lot of transitional changes right now. Um, and this is like really asking you to pull on your inner strength. Having um, curiosity and playfulness will help. This is also about harmony and generosity, community and friendship. You're really longing for that friendship and community this month. All right. Now, mentally, you have the beautiful Ishtar, the number 24. So this comes down to a six. And the six is all about your pleasures and your joy. And the goddess Ishtar is all about that. However, your intimate relationship with the world is being called upon right now because you're going through so many different things. It's unfamiliar environments and situations. No one needs to rescue you when you act empowered. Be aware of the parts that you play in your own miracles. And when you refuse to see the signs, it could ultimately take you down the wrong path. It says when red flags indicate something that's not right, don't sign it. Don't jump in. Don't print. Don't don't just go blindly when you know you shouldn't. It's just not for you. Let things be revealed. If you decide to move forward and be stubborn, you could find yourself repeating some old lessons. And when you're too attached to an outcome, you're unable to see other options. So it's almost like you're very fixated on how things should be. And Ishtar is saying, no, 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 come back to this energy of working with the divine and allow your path to be open for you. I'm seeing a lot of oranges and yellows coming through. This is a lot of energy with your confidence, your solar plexus, and your sacral. So I feel like it's about being super creative. Now the butterfly is visiting you. It's time for transformation, inspiration, 
find your passion and your spark again. So the energy is here is about energy is all around you. The fire has been started. You've got new things going. Doors that you thought that were closed are suddenly opening for you because you're following your passion and your enthusiasm. The only way to get out of this situation, Gemini, is to really jump into your essence of the way that you are. And that is that little extra playfulness that you have that happiness that spark has to come back you've kind of lost it on a soul level you have that of caught in the ruins now when this card is upright it means that you've been in some very limiting situations and and some of them are from your own decisions like self-imposed decisions the courage and strength only lie in you and you must change each thing yourself and if you do nothing about this you're going to keep repeating the cycle is what this card is saying don't let the ruins of your past ruin your future you have the power to climb out now so <clears throat> oh my gosh i'm choking i've this like twice today <clears throat> speak your truth okay forgot i did that with someone else too you need to speak your truth so when I look at the numbers, I have 24, which comes to a 6, 13, which comes to a 4. So it's time to transform your foundation, right? So 6 and 4 is 10. And then we have 16. 16 comes down to a 7, right? So let's see. 10 and 7, right? No, did I say that right? Okay, good. hold on. Let me do a little math on my hand. 6, 4, and 7 comes to a 17, which comes to an 8. Thank you very much. This is all about communication, travel. You are really pulling into that. This is about your abundance. And this is a situation, Gemini, that you would love for someone to come and say, I have all the answers for you. But the only true answers that you really need are going to be within you, is what it's saying. So... It's time to put on your big girl panties, like I like to say, and I don't even know what those look like, but I would like a pair of those sometimes. <laughs> it gets to work, Jimmy. All right, so here I can see that you are having to make a decision. You're at a crossroads, and you're at a crossroads possibly with a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. We have Leo, Aries, Sag here, or somebody who's just not trying to see things a certain way. This is a lot of masculine energy going on here. Lots of fire going on. You're upset and there's action that needs to be taken. You kind of feel like this king of wands, this can either be you or someone you're dealing with, is like they're not even paying attention to you. They're not seeing the hard work that you've done. They're just not really seeing all the transformation that you've already accomplished. So I rolled a six. I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'd like to take a moment and talk about this beautiful selenite sphere that I got from my friend Monica from Spirit Guided Jewelry. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my necklaces or where do I get my crystals? I get them from her. She gave me this. Well, I ordered this. And then she gave me some goodies. Like, how lucky can you get? I got some soda light and quartz. Like, how lucky am I? All right. Six of Pentacles, help was on the way or is on the way. Six of Cups reversed. Okay, Ace of Cups. All right. Uh -huh. Whoa, Five of Arrows reversed and Three of Cups reversed. Too many people involved and we're getting a little bit jumpy. What's going on, Gemini? This is where we need to take a deep, deep breath, okay? I'm pulling out the bottom of the deck. Whew, Gemini, my heart hurts. Okay, Five of Cups reversed. You are at a loss. You don't understand. Ten of Wands, it's too heavy for you to carry. The Four of Stones. I almost said the Four of Stones. I got a pocket full of stones. <laughs> four of Pentacles reversed. You just kind of feel like there's no foundation. You're not secure. The rug was pulled out from under you. It was an injustice. And you, you're, you're blindly going into a very unfortunate situation. It's like you really need to start over, but you don't have the courage to do this. You're almost afraid and there was some really silly things you did with some finances. So, only some, not all, okay? Take the parts that fit and don't get mad at me. Now, I am going to clarify with the beautiful Santa Muerte. But as we look at these cards up here, I'm going to look at them, and I'm looking and I'm seeing, I see a double six at the beginning. I'm going to say, it's, this is a month you need to trust your intuition. 
Now, you start off, you come into this month, you have the Six of Pentacles, you had the help, everyone was helping you, you were evenly helping them, this is the vibe that you're getting, and all of a sudden, you, right now in the present, in October, you feel like the Six of Cups reversed, like, what the hell, like, what happened to the good old days when everything was going my way or the way that I was supposed to go? Now, the Ace of Cups that's coming through is the hidden influence. There's still love in this situation. There's an offer that's coming through. But the advice is that there's you've been defeated. I don't know if you're going to take this offer because there's no celebration at the end of October with the Three of Cups reversed. And then it ends with the Sagittarius card, with the, temp with the Temperance card. Um, being another five so there's just a lot of significant change coming in for you and I see a lot of emotion we look we have the six of cups the ace of cups and the um, three of cups now that's a lot of emotion coming in the five of arrows I just feel like communication has been shot there's so much communication you feel so defeated in this situation that you're just like done I've Gemini you're done Six of Pentacles, what we got going on with the Six of Pentacles? So I have the Two of Pentacles, and it's reversed. So we're not seeing eye to eye on maybe a financial situation, how we should move forward. We're not seeing eye to eye with that. Possibly with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces because of that Six of Cups. Oh, my shoe. I almost fell. Y'all need to go to bed. Oh, I got too much stuff over here. I'm going to trip and fall and break my other knee. I have the whole family of the Pentacles over here, it looks like. What card is it going to be? Is this going to be upright? Oh, Gemini, you are not talking. You are being very cutthroat about something in the past. And you're trying, I almost want to say you're not even speaking, like you're not even expressing yourself. You're not telling people how you feel. You're not listening to the other side with that two of pentacles and they're not listening to you. You feel like they're not listening to you, but you're not speaking. Jemmy, what's going on with you, Gemini? What's the deal? No, yes, should it be upright. Okay, I really feel like you're not communicating. I have the scribe reversed. There's no communication. Maybe there'll be communication by October 12th. I don't know. There's also something significant with the number three. There's a situation. You're not even like messaging these people. Like you're not messaging them. You're not speaking to them. You're not holding, you're not responding to anyone. Period, like they say. So what else is going on in this present moment? I have the higher fence. Uh, reversed so this isn't like you I almost want to say like you feel spiritually shut down in a way but don't lose hope mid-month there's an offer at your door it's the ace of cups what's coming through look five of swords five of swords what's going on this is that you have a triple five you're just going through a lot of change right now there is a lot of change going on for you and I look five 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 four fives there is a bunch of change coming in, Gemini. I almost want to say, like, this is a good month to take a seat. Okay? So the Five of Swords is being clarified. Even though you're getting a good offer, you feel like you're having to fight for it tooth and nail, that it makes you feel defeated because the advice is to stop fighting. What are you fighting for? If you're getting the offer, if somebody's offering something to you, what are you fighting for? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Is it, what, is it miscommunication? Is it because you want to be right? Is it because you know you're right because you felt it was an injustice? What's going on? So I have the karmic trenches. Okay, I have a, this is a karmic situation with all those fives. And I almost want to say, like, whenever the karmic trenches comes in, okay, yeah, it's karma, blah, 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 whatever. But this is where you have to ask yourself, is this situation familiar? Have I been through this in the past? And if you have, if so, this is where you simply say, okay, self, what is it that I want an outcome? How, what outcome do I desire? Okay, what do I need to do to get that? Well, apparently not what you've been doing because you're in the karmic trenches, right? Because it leads to this three of cups reverse, like the abundance isn't coming through. What you desire is not coming through. So what's going to help this situation? Is a complete transformation with the, with the death card. You have the Santa Muerte card. So I kind of feel like there was a friendship, 
a partnership a business with the three of cups and she's pregnant right there was something that was supposed to be birthed something that was supposed to happen it didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen because there's a lesson to be learned and only you can get out of that undefeated and get to the six of arrows right we want to get the five of arrows out the way so that we can go to the six of arrows where things are going to be smooth where we're on a journey where we're not on an uphill battle the entire entire time so in order for that three of cups reversed at to to go we have to work with transformative energy what needs to go what has to change what has to change chariot you gotta go there's some there's somewhere you gotta go and the chariot is saying you're gonna have a victory once you transform your idea and be open to a new perspective whether this is at a job a relationship however it falls because we're handling it with no roots you don't have any roots in this situation you don't feel grounded in this situation because you feel stabbed in the back all right so you're focusing on those things that stabbed you in the back and we're not seeing possibilities of what could possibly happen. So part of this with the double five of swords is saying there's not enough communication. Communication is key. You want something to change, you need to try a different approach. And that is the only way something is going to change, all right? I'm just moving the camera all over the place. Now, we're gonna look at Gemini, I feel like this is a really rough read. I'm feeling like you're getting really hit hard, okay? So, the vibe that I'm going to get, I'm just going to tell you some messages that I'm receiving. During the month of October, you have a double full moon. So, I do feel like you may be a little bit more emotional. You might not really know how to express yourself. We also have a Mercury retrograde in Libra. Um, and that's going to affect you also because you're going to want to bring justice to a situation where you feel the injustice was brought to you. So what that first card Ishtar was talking about was it's asking you what role are you playing in the situation? Are you trying to be rescued or are you always the rescuer? There needs to be a balance. However, that three of swords and not feeling grounded, this is to you like you can't come back to this. Like you're, you're just you just can't do it. And so if that's what you can't do, it's in order for you to transform the situation and find your victory. This is about you finding your voice voice and finding your victory okay because you're coming out where you don't want to speak now we're going to go into relationships so for my single gemini's single gemini's what do you got singles you got a lot of cards over here let's see single single singles upright okay upright should that be here no so I do feel like there is some possibilities with love coming in. Maybe business wasn't going very well, but love is looking pretty good. You're getting what you wanted. You do have an offer of love coming in, possibly from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, someone who loves animals. And it's everything you ever wished for. I would say move very slow because some of y'all are getting over a heartbreak. Now, I'm going to go into the beautiful boot up, and I just lost that entire card. Okay, booed up. Some of y'all are moving. I'm just going to say it. Some of y'all are moving point blank, period, okay? For my beautiful Geminis who are in relationships, you got the five of swords again. Oh my goodness, what is going on? But this double nine is telling me that some of y'all are moving, y'all are on the move, y'all are changing, changing jobs, changing locations. But there's also this like triple five of swords now. Every deck is giving you the five of swords. There is a strong message from the five of swords. And I'm going to say it's in the voices in your head. It's in the communication that you're having. Look at the squawkity squawk, squawk, squawk over there in his ear. Who are you letting in your ear when it comes to your relationships? Because that is the karmic trench. Communication is the karmic trench, and it's time to get ourselves out of it. Remember that you have that dolphin energy. You have the ability to speak up and say what you want, desire, and need. Now, the sacred sites, you are getting jelly. This is transition, located in Vigley, Denmark, okay? So this is Odin, the god of the shamans, and he's seen riding the eight-legged spirit horse Schleppner, who has the ability to venture into the underworld. Odin is one of the first of the male Azure gods and the father of many, including Thor. 
Now, what has caused you to be afraid in the past? Acknowledge your fears. They're no longer welcome on the path that you walk. Make a list of your fears. Are they even realistic? Make the sacrifices necessary in order to remove the unwanted companions from your journey. And that could be your thoughts, okay? Now, it talks about in your life, do you need to change from one way of thinking to another? It's that whole paradigm shift. Is there something in your life that you're afraid of bringing into the open? And have you agreed to something that's not your truth to protect yourself or others or to keep the peace? This is a time of transition of seeing the world from a new perspective. Jim and I think that's why it's that five of swords is like you're trying to see things from different angles and understand it. And you're just like, but I don't get it. Why me? Why do I have to always have it so hard? And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes I'm a Gemini rising. So, yeah, that's how I feel, too. So the beliefs that you have, you are really questioning your beliefs. Is this really what I believe? Is this really true? And so you might be going through that this month. Now, your guides, your ancestors want you to know that foundations are going to be very important. You've got the staff, and it wants you to lean on it. Your guides are like, just lean on us. You're walking on shaky ground. You're transitioning. Things are different. So you're being guided to go back to the basics. Remember how far you've come. Keep your eyes on your path, and don't let others divert you from your journey. Stay on track. Make a commitment, and don't back down support will be provided now your other message coming in is compassion so compassion is coming through for you and it's time to soften your heart your heart chakra is a little bit hurt right now so holding a green crystal to your heart chakra on a friday because that is venus day take a deep breath and ask the crystal or invoke the energy of love and healing to a broken heart I give the power of the crystal to heal my heart that is broken. You can repeat that three times. Say love and support and all the hugs are coming my way. Whatever you want to say, compassion has been found. I accept what the universe gives me. I accept the love. I accept divine power. You're the one who's creating this magic, but it's time to heal your heart so that you can speak up. It's safe to open up to others and, and someone needs to support you. But there are lessons to be learned and there are lessons about your foundation and in communication. Now, the Queen of Cups is coming up for your health read. Where did my, where did my notebook go? There we go. And the Queen of Cups deals with a lot of feminine issues. I thought I had it marked. Hold on. Here she is. Problems with the breast, the ovaries, and the uterus. This could be you or somebody that you're very close to. Now, the herb with this is ladies' mantle. It's an astringent for reviving the reproductive system. It helps with excessive bleeding and fibroids, excessive vaginal infections, postpartum. It's used in love spells and potions and amulets to attract love. It's the patron herb of alchemy that is known as ladies' mantle. Now, your mantra is, or your message truly is, it's time to change tracks and build on solid ground you're moving to a different level gemini you're moving on and moving up but what, what's holding you back is all that chatter in your mind calm your mind connect back to your heart space and trust the divine it's going to pull you through the situation all right i love you i love you i love you and if you're interested in a read hit me up at ariana luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at ariana luciano be blessed fam